A very good morning. Warm welcome to all of you, my dear children. Today's session, we are going to discuss briefly about the food components and the effects of junk foods in our day-to-day -day life. Let us see the different keywords in this lesson before going to that. They are junk food definition, obesity, cholesterol. These things we are going to discuss today's session. So in the previous class, we have discussed about some of the live demonstrations to find the food components such as carbohydrates, fats presented in the food items and uh, proteins, very important proteins, they are already we discussed previously, clearly they are the building blocks of the body, without that our body cannot be built properly. So the dietary food must contain proteins. How to test the proteins that we discussed in the previous classes? So take a 2% of copper sulphate solution and 10% of sodium hydroxide solution. Both of them mix it together and drop wise one by one in the test tube which is containing the protein. Protein already the some of the any kind of food item that you prepared in the kitchen by your mother has to take a little bit and drop wise uh, put into the uh, test tube and pour some water and shake well you will get the food item ready to test the protein. Now the preparation already we previously 2% of copper sulphate, 10% of sodium hydroxide solution add it up, immediately it turns to purple or violet color indicated the food which is selected protein. So these sessions are completed previously. I think most of the children are very happy to express and they are able to tell different varieties of answers that we can uh, short answers are in the form of a summative or descriptive, any varieties we can able to answer well. Now today's session we are going to discuss uh, about the effects of junk foods. Effects of junk foods. This is the common problem nowadays because uh, during vacation like Saturday, Sunday, most of the family along with their children, they visit to uh, movies or they are visited to very big shopping malls. Uh, by the time we are purchasing different kinds of food varieties. Okay, in the form of bacon items sometimes. These are actually what causes that we are going to discuss. What are their effects and how do you overcome all these problems in the day to day life or are going to discuss in detail. Let us see what is meant by junk food. Junk food is nothing but pre prepared pocket food material. Pre prepared pocket food material such as even uh, let us take some of the examples curricula packets uh, or uh, potato chips sometimes battery items such as uh, pizza burgers these all are not good to take much more quantity of course for the time being children are very much attractive by seeing it and they are going to be taken but it causes many defects and causes many diseases to the body. Let me discuss today what are the defects and how we overcome and what should we uh, do to prevent this that we are going to discuss now. So by taking this sometimes you cannot you cannot uh, recognize the sufficiency sometimes we have to take in more quantity it can be due to that the presented of the uh, causing the obesity. Obesity is nothing but overweight, overweight. Some of the food items are taking more, which is unsaturated fats which are converted in the form of cholesterol. This will be affected to the digestive system. Digestive canal be, uh, uh, can't be allowed it properly. So it will be in the form of uh, like a precipitate presented into the uh, canal tract, digestive canal tract. Result and uh, it will be causes like a scrap, like a scrap. So it will cause many diseases, like such as uh, lung diseases, heart diseases. They are the blockings presented uh, the blood in the nose. So it will be affected to the movement of the blood and causes the heart diseases and lung diseases. 
So towards that one, what shall we do? That is an important fact. So further, we require to follow some other principles. I would like to mention to avoid this, the 10 principles that you prepared for your children. All of you keep on watching and please all of you go down in your uh, notebook and try to implement in your life to avoid this problem. Like obesity equals for all these things. Number one, what to do? Maintain balancing diet. Maintain balancing diet. Already we have discussed in the previous session what is meant by balancing diet. Consider containing all these food components in a proper ratio in the form of smooth functioning of the digestion is nothing but balanced diet. Second one, follow good habits. Follow good habits like clean your body at the same time your mind. Your body and your mind if you are clean well so overall development of the health will be improved and uh, maintain uh, avoiding of the junk foods suppose if you want to take you take a limited quantity only then and often very rarely let us take it is not a habit of implement in day to day life every day some of the people are very much attracted it is not good it will cause us many diseases many effects and uh, uh, drinking sufficient water, fifth one, drinking sufficient water. So, this will cause us a smooth digestion in our body, including uh, your lifestyle, fruits, nuts, uh, such as banana is the cheapest material, cheapest fruit presented in our day to day life, groundnuts, most calorific value. So, these are the food varieties. Why I mention all these things? Many of the people are having. A doubt it is actually uh, the balanced right uh, di uh, diet is a, a richest uh, food actually it is not correct even the availability in and around the food items from that we can choose the balancing diet a fruit or uh, some nuts included along with our food we will overcome this problem and uh, some of the people are having the habit simply they are eating sleeping and uh, coming to the school it is not good maintain a habit of playing the games do proper exercise every day in the morning or sometimes it is inconvenient in the morning you have to play some games during the evening and uh, be cheerful my dear children always be cheerful try to maintain happy and uh, most of you having this habit of uh, not helping to others it is not good and next point you try to implement the habit of helping to others more cheerful and helping to others if you follow all these okay you will overcome the problem and finally don't forget to take rest properly don't forget to take rest properly because most of the children are spending most of the time along with the android phones and some other uh, chartings are uh, uh, wasting the valuable time uh, worthless wasteless so is a waste of time both health and as well as wealth so toward that one proper rest is very important it will be given your body make it strong fit and cheerful okay my dear children are you understand so make all these 10 points of uh, try to implement in your life you your life will be make it happy and uh, make it into fit and be attractive and always useful to others, we can help to others so that we can uh, build up our nation to be healthy and to be very strong. So, thank you. And uh, before going to conclude this session, I wanted to ask you a few questions. So, please, all of you, note down the few questions and try to answer them. Uh, what is uh, the definition of junk food, obesity, and what makes the defects of the junk food is taking to the body, explain in detail, frame these questions and uh, what are the examples, different kinds of examples of the junk foods, please mention. Okay, like that, after understanding the subject, after reading the textbook properly, you can have an ample of uh, time to think in and around, absorb it and try to make it uh, answers with your own sentences. Understand children? So in this way, happily if you learn, I, you can uh, uh, able to spend the holidays happily and we can improve well the subject 
also okay thank you my dear children next session of watching keep on watching until the next session keep on smiling have a nice day bye bye